In this vlog, we explain to you more about peak fattening management. Good fattening management starts with having good developed healthy piglets. Genetics of the soils and piglets is the most essential factor combined with soil management and the management of wind piglets. Those are the basics for a successful fattening period. To learn more on soil and piglet management, please watch our other tutorials about these different subjects. In the fattening period, 80% of the feed cost per kilogram meat takes place as shown in the diagram. That is the reason that the Cowdays philosophy is to invest in high quality sow and piglet feeds and to focus on the cost price when fattening the pigs. Quality sow and piglet feeds are essential for good developed healthy piglets. They will grow better and more efficient in the fattening period. As already explained, efficient growth in the fattening period starts with good developed healthy piglets. Diarrhea or underdeveloped muscularity at a young age has a major influence on the performance of your fattening pigs. The use of cow dice creep feed supports your piglets and is therefore an investment for the other older fares. Although, water is the most important and cheapest nutrient for pigs, so it is essential to monitor your water quality and quantity. Make sure that pens are clean and disinfected when your piglets enter and pigs from different edges should be housed separate. And sick animals must be medicated or vaccinated to prevent them from infecting other animals. The growth in pigs consists partly of meat and partly of fat. It is very important to understand that growth of meat is about four times more efficient than growth of fat. The ratio between meat and fat yield is mainly determined by genetics, sex and age. Younger pigs are able to produce more meat. For efficient growth, it is important to maximize this potential during this young age. To maximize the potential at a young age, the younger pigs should be fed unrestricted. In some cases, when too much fat is developed, feed levels of older pigs should be restricted. Also feed density should be adapted. Younger pigs have a higher need for energy and protein from the feed. Cow dice can provide you with feeding schedules and mixing advices adapted to your situation. Would you like to know more about feeding strategies for your farm? Then go to the website of Cow dice. Our specialists are happy to help you.